Welcome to the Pluto Lounge, where we just chill. Welcome back, and all oh, silken silken. Now we're about to play some Baldur's Gate 3. So I tried playing this before when it first came out, and I went straight to Tactician, and I was getting so angry because I kept missing over and over and over again. So instead of doing this tactician, we're just gonna do a balanced playthrough and you know focus on the story. Wait, what is this? This wasn't here when I played it last time. A fraught and deadly campaign awaits, limited to a single save file. Bag it, let's do it.
blood in your head thrums and pounds. That pounding blood obscures who you are. An overwhelming loss of memory. How you ended up amidst these hellish flames is just as hidden. You have nothing in your skull, besides your name and a headache. But you are in danger. The torturer behind this cruel prank will meet your malice when you get out of here. Killing. Now that sounds like your first good idea. Damn. I'm crazy. What the hell? Why am I covered in blood? You should mind my step. That's dope. suggest first we exterminate the imps then we find the helm and take control of the ship we will address the matter of a cure for this infection once we reach the material plane Should not be surprised about my adequacy. Gage machinery. I can make no sense of it. Let's get the push. Whoops. No time to waste. Some melee range, huh? One day I'll catch a break. You! Get me out of this damn thing! We have no time for stragglers. Strength in numbers, love. I'll go look around. There must be some way to get this thing open. Try that contraption next to the pod. They did something to it when they sealed me in. Woman is trapped inside the pod. 
she doesn't notice you. As you place your hand on the pod, you hear something. A presence connected to the pod, commanding the person inside to change. Yeah, we cannot let that happen. Is this to be our fate? The console appears dormant. The console hums to life. But what is its purpose? Will it free the captive or transform her like that other unfortunate? You feel a hideous squirming in your head. The parasite. Then discomfort fades, and another sensation washes over you. Connection. Authority. your command and yield to it a shiver runs across your mind you feel sated at last thought i was done for <laughs> not that you're done for too Well, a dangerous company is what you need in a fight. Fair point. Looks like there's plenty of fighting ahead. Let me come with you. We can get off this ship and watch each other's backs along the way. Alright then, let's get going. I'm Zelik. Shadowheart. One moment. Come on, time to go. Finally. Let us make for the hell. We've wasted enough time already. She's right. Lead on. <laughs> Man, Lizelle's little head shakes are so cute. And <laughs> what's up with the name Shadowheart? I'm assuming that's an Elias because it sounds like a Sailor Moon villain. We are nearing the helm. Once inside, do as I say. Who put you in charge? I'll trust my own judgment. Kane Yank. <laughs> Ladies, we do not have time for this. of this I'm going to cast command drop and make him drop his weapon so we can pick it up damn 
Because since we're playing Honor, I can't save Scum. <laughs> Why did I choose this again? Zell. That's what I'm talking about. There we go. Alright, let's get a drum roll. <laughs> Can she hit it? Could take a couple more hits. We should be okay. Nearly out of sky. It's now or never. That was my bad. What path lies before me? Ooh. All right, we need to get out of here. He's going to die next turn. Enforcements. Tick tock, tick tock, we're running out of time.
bring her back from the dead. Hit the transponder. And we out of here. <laughs> the Helm's alien transponder. You made it in time. You half expected your memories to return once you were free of the Mind Flayer ship. But your past is still an aching void. If you don't find a way to remove the tadpole burrowed in your brain soon, your future will be as blank as your past. Your head whispers vengeance. You cannot wait to slice your way forth, seeking whatever wrought this tragedy upon you. Damn. Swift as my feet can carry me. You drink in the pungent corpse. Since you awoke on the ship, your mind has been cold and empty, but something stirs. With your hands close to this body, you know nothing of why, but you find a half smile flittering across your face. With a shake of your head, you can hear your own blood throbbing in your ears. There is something unknown and unspeakable deep within your heart. What is going on with me? Perhaps it was some dramatically timed divine intervention. The divine tend to keep their interventions close to the chest. Though, I suppose it's not impossible. Do you have any idea where we are? No. I don't recognize this place. But anything's an improvement on where we just came from. First things first. We need supplies, shelter, and most of all, a healer. We might have escaped, but we still have these little monsters in our heads. We, huh? So you want to stay together? We need each other. And we both know what's at stake. Can't think of better company. Aw, oh, so sweet. Alright then, let's get going. One thing. Just before we go. 
I wanted to thank you again for freeing me. It would have been all too easy for you to run right past my pod, but you didn't. I'll remember that. Lead the way. Of course. Oh man, are these brain things again? Distance, or this will be a short fight. You ain't gotta tell me twice. Nice. Got to move. One down, two to go. Get you your LOS line of sight. Life comes easy these days. <laughs> One. I forgot. Find a way forward. Strength build on this one. All right, let's uh, let's drummer kick. We need to remove this tension. Hey, I was playing my music there, buddy. It's very rude. Shadow Heart, now that's what I'm talking about. I won't give in. Ooh, and we frightened him. All part of the plan. And then we heal ourselves. Although we can still take quite a big hit. Ah, perfect. Have to keep going. You fight well. Perhaps our survival isn't such a distant prospect. <laughs> Don't sound too shocked. Dream in red. Hurry. I've got one of those brain things cornered. There, in the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others? Kill it yourself. You look capable enough. I was hoping for a kind soul. Well, not to worry. I saw you on the ship, strutting about whilst I was trapped in that pod. What did you and those tentacled freaks do to me? I haven't done anything to you, yet. You arrogant little... Your mind twists. You're looking out of unfamiliar eyes, prowling dark, busy streets. You try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm. The light. The fear. What was that? What's going on? It's the Mind Flayer's worm. It connected us. The worm? Of course. That explains things somewhat. And to think, I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> Apologies. I can't blame you. I was looking forward to seeing yours. <laughs> A kindred spirit. My name's Astarian. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. I'm in quite the state myself, but I think I'm Zelic. A pleasure. So, do you know anything about these worms? Yes, unfortunately. They'll turn us into mind flayers. Turn us into... Ha! Ha 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 ha! Of course it'll turn me into a monster. What else did I expect? Although, it hasn't happened yet. 
If we can find an expert, someone that can control these things, there might still be time. Control, huh? Anyway, you should travel with me. Our odds are better together. You know, I was ready to go this alone, but maybe sticking with the herd isn't such a bad idea. And you seem like a useful person to know. All right. I accept. Lead on. As he joins your side, your mind dances with thoughts of a perfect, pretty corpse. There. A mind flayer. And it's hurt. You approach the dying monster. This is the thing that abducted you. You could end its life here and now, if only you didn't feel compassion. Compassion? You can't move, can't think. Thinking is mercifully done for you. It will be a joy to serve, to die for it an honor. It's possessing your mind, forcing you to love it. But then the feeling slips. The creature's mind seems to focus elsewhere. The monster lies exhausted, defeated. Its eyes, wet orange pearls, radiate malice. Monster. Death is too good for it. Yeah, those unnatural things gotta go. Like, that's too powerful. What's going on with that room? Looks unstable somehow. Yellow as a toad, twice as ugly. <laughs> the thing's dangerous. Leave it for the goblins to kill. Your skull pounds in response to the prisoner's white hot stare. Her lips don't move, yet you hear her voice. Get rid of them. Holy hells. Under elf. Play time, I miss her. If you value your life, Walk away. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Demaze. Come, I miss her. Now. Enough gawking. Get me down. Say please. Never. <laughs> Observe and listen. You'll hear goblins before you see them. As you say. The tadpole hasn't yet scrambled all your senses. Auspicious. But the longer we wait, the more it consumes. My people possess the cure for this infection. I must find a crash. You will join me. Careful. She obviously sees your kindness as weakness. Don't let her take advantage. And what exactly is a crash? It is many things. A hatchery, a training grounds, a shelter. Githyanki protocol is clear. When infected with a gay tadpole, we must report to Augustil for purification. You know, a simple thank you wouldn't go amiss. You may as well suggest a wyvern bow to worms. The cure I offer will suffice as thanks. 
<laughs> All right, we journey together. Let's find this Kresh. You have made an ally from Kresh Kalir. Few know such fortune. Call me Lazel. I'll trust your judgment, but I won't trust her. Not until I've gotten the measure of her. You've a sharp tongue, elf. Would that your mind proved its equal. Half elf. I suppose the finer details are lost on a creature like you. Come. The Horned Ones mentioned a camp. One there, this Zoru, has seen Githyanki. A crash must be near. We will ask this Zoru where he has seen my kin. Sounds like a plan. Now, forward. I hear shouting up ahead. We should check it out, but be careful. in Zevlor's orders that pack of goblins will be on us any second what's going on goblins are on our tail open the gate Zevlor now you let goblins here where is the druid please there's no time The nine hells! Open the gates! the blade and suffer its sting hell of an entrance <laughs> pretty hilarious though like dude took a sweet time open the gates oh hey what's up man open the gates goblins are after us hey where's that druid open the gates huh so how you doing how's life <laughs> oh wait is that a goblin open the gates <laughs> Should we snipe? Oh, nothing. options Herself. 
Wait, he's attacking me. On the way. Stay in the shadows. Hey, can we sneak attack? Yeah, let's hit this guy. Nice. One down. Wait, why didn't you kill her? What the hell? a little bit uh, I messed that up oh my gosh you cannot hit to save your life victory awaits Play some music. It's starting to get a little too tense. Uh, I think 
I need to heal this guy. Shadowheart missed on purpose so she could get the last hit. Have I been this way before? There are children here, you fool! We was running for our lives. You led them straight to us, and you let them take the druid too? Unbelievable! What's unbelievable is how we beat the goblins! You're both heroes! And who the hell are you again? Show some respect. This man saved your pathetic life. Well, I didn't ask for any goddamn help. Please, you were begging me to open the gate. Anything to save yourself, you coward! The human's eye twitches. He's about to blow. More violence won't bring back those you lost. Stop and think. You're right. There's too much at stake. Worried about your precious eyes, the both of you. Enough! Squabbling is pointless. The goblins have found us. At least we agree on that. More goblins could be on their way. Oh. Time to pack. We need to leave. I mean, damn, you guys gonna heal me for all that effort? I care about our lives. Refugees, adventurers, and even a drow. No one in years, and suddenly we're overwhelmed. Well met, and thank you for beating back those goblins. Most brave of you. Is there anything you need? Act fast if you do. The ritual will be complete before too long. What ritual are you talking about? Ah, I forgot. You're a blow-in. A few days hence, this grove will be completely concealed by thorny vines. None will be able to enter, or leave. A drastic measure. But more monsters seem to terrorize this region every day. What about the people here? We druids will be safe. As for those that took refuge here, well... May Sylvanus guard them as they continue their travels. You just said the region's overrun by monsters. They won't survive by themselves. As I said, it's a drastic measure. But the survival of the grove is paramount. There just aren't enough supplies to support everyone. Swing and Look swing who's here. And... Go on. Give me a best shot. Uh, yeah. Not bad. Again. <gasps> I can't do it. I'm not like you. Umi, I don't need you to be like me. You just have to buy enough time to run. Come on. I believe in you. You can do this. <laughs> it's good advice, child. You do well to listen. Hmm. <laughs> You're on the right path, Umi. Go on now. Practice what you've learned. Well met. The Blade of Frontiers at your... The man's smile bends downward, and his thoughts become yours. You are the Blade of Frontiers, racing through the wastes of Avernus. 
Just ahead, a diabolical figure, red skin, single curled horn, blazes with flame, bloodied great axe held high. <sighs> Hell's great fires. You are on the ship. Yes, and we both carry parasites. Mm. Doomed to shed our skin and become a lithid, or so the stories go. But we haven't sprouted any tentacles. Not yet, anyway. Could just be good luck. I'm not so... Your minds collide once more. Will chases the fiend ignited with rancor. She is an infernal war devil. A threat to the living. Evil incarnate. Shit! You saw her. Advocatus Diaboli. Advocatus Diaboli. A devil's advocate. A champion in the blood war between diabolical forces and demons. Company. Cavorting with devils, I see. You should consider better company. A fiend makes for poor company. Unless it's been stuffed and mounted on your wall. Her name is Karlak. An archdevil soldier I swore on my good eye to kill. I tracked her through the hells to the Mind Flayer ship. But the damned Elithids infected me before I could end her. She's out there now preying on the innocent. I don't kill her. She'll leave behind nothing but a trail of corpses. I'm looking to cure this infection. I suggest we partner up. Just so you know, my first duty is Karlak. I'm oath bound to go after her. But I won't deny this infection is bothersome. I accept your invitation. I'd love to join, but I don't think there's enough space for me to squeeze in. It's all right. Meet me at camp. A splendid plan. We'll talk more there. Swing and swing and parry. And again. Swing and swing and... You ain't gonna shoot me. Your hands are shaking. Put it down. She can't fight back. That's the point. Get out of the way! She didn't kill your brother, Arca. You're better than this. Your mind wonders. If the crossbow bolt shot through her mouth, would she taste the metal before she died? Shoot before you lose your nerve, Tieflin. If you ever had it to begin with. Uh, shut up. Those words could be your last. I'm not afraid. Chosen by the absolute, I am. I'm blessed. Oh, I'll bless you, all right. Looks like the absolute sent me a protector. You're gonna kill him, too? You, move! This once avenged cannon, it won't change anything. Fortunate. Who cares? You fought for us, so I'll give you one last chance. Move! No, shoot me. Should be easy, right? What in every hell is wrong with you? Damn you. Damn it! But why do you care if a goblin lives or dies? Excellent question. She still has a story to tell. One I want to hear. <laughs> your soft heart will be the death of us. Gods, you're exhausting. Fine, then. It's all right, Arca. Let's go. Oh, you teeths are all boring. Even your cages are boring. Didn't expect to see a drought in here. Did the boss lady send you to rescue me? Yes, she sent me. Ready to get out of here? Yeah! Take me back to the tribe. 
and we'll tell the boss all about this pretty little place. So she can burn it to the ground! We'll be heroes, blessed by Priestess Gut, in the name of the Absolute. Princess Guts is quite the name. Tell me more. Got a whole lab set up. Cooks up potions that fix our lads, no matter how much of a beating they take. Could probably stick your head back on if someone was to chop it off. <gasps> Mighty Booyog. Who is this Absolute? The Absolute is gold from the sky, she is. The blessing in the storm and the storm itself. We're burning her name across the face of the world, we are. I'm gonna bite the heads off your kids, and your birdies, and your dogs. Interesting. Bells, we can't just leave. They're kin. I'll not gamble our lives, our futures, on people who are as good as dead. We must leave for Baldur's Gate at once. Can we all just take a moment, please? What's the point in blades and spells if we don't bloody use them? We should stay. These people aren't fighters. We can help. Or yell louder. That's fine too. Get out while you can. The goblins will be back. Common sense at last. Let's get out of this death trap. Or would you deny your brother here his chance at fortune in Baldur's Gate? Come on, sis. We're less of a target alone. We should leave. Ah, uh, fine. Let's sneak away like God's damned cowards. But if something happens to these people, it's on us. I hope you know that. I mean, you guys should all leave, to be honest. Right. By Mordai's eyes, another one. My friend's blood not enough. Come to rip me open, too. In Kresh Kalir, a formal greeting begins with a bow. Is this monster with you? Hold it, Lazel. I'll see to this one. You dare interrupt. Has the tadpole ravaged your senses? Enough. Stand down. I won't tell you again. Chucky. Fine. You. Tell me where you saw the Gith Yankee. On the road to Baldur's Gate. N near the mountain pass. S saw us for we saw it. Jammed its blade through Yul's belly. Straight to the other side. And I just... I just ran. The map. Show me. All right, Lazo, you got what you needed. Yes, your mediocre interrogation technique notwithstanding. The last time a subordinate questioned my judgment, I ate tongue stew that very night. I warned you, didn't I? You ought to reconsider keeping her around before she causes real trouble. You've made your point. Then I needn't make it again. The teethling was clear. If there are Githyanki west of here, that must be our objective. Purification cannot wait. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say teeth, Link? I am unfamiliar with the, well, I shall not say culture, custom, perhaps. You will educate me on matters of this Fey run. <laughs> no, no, it's Fey rune. What do you mean purification? The Kresh holds the Zathisk. It will cleanse us of the parasite. By covenant, I can say no more. Okay. Please, let us through. Let my daughter go right now. She's a thief, hell spawn. And you will wait for Korga's judgment. Now get back. Oh, let me through, Ragrasham, or I'll rip your damn throat out. <gasps> Okay. See, you guys are all on 
friendly terms. Still in your fighting stances. Calm, Magrin. Give him a chance. You, step back. We'll not tolerate drow in here. Ouch. If it weren't for me, he'd be overrun by goblins by now. I'll go where I please. Keep back. Force my hand and I'll show you its claws. A moment, Giona. What? Why would she allow one of them? I... I suppose so. You! Apparently Korga wants to see you. Go ahead. But a word of warning. One wrong move and every single animal here will tear you apart. Hmm. I don't take kindly to threats. Heading out. Dance upon the stars tonight. Smile and pain will fade away. Words of mine will change. No. Become. Ugh. Change? No. Damn it! There's no singing voice that could save those lyrics. You know that's right. No. I mean, yes, I'm trying to finish this bloody song and it's not... Nothing fits, you know? Let me see if I can help. Mm. It can't hurt. I have her. I have an extra loot, if you want. Hand me that loot. We can perform together. I'll start from the beginning. We'll take it slow. Dance upon stars tonight smile and pain will fade away Seriously? That was... interesting. Why don't we try again? as much as you need <laughs> she'd have said the same thing that's the first time I've played since Lihala died my teacher she was playing her loot we didn't hear the gnolls coming there was so much blood uh, I can still smell it I'm sure your teacher would be proud to see you now <laughs> She'd yell at me for that clunky verse and make me play till my fingers were raw. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Finish the Weeping Dawn for her. Keep the loot, please. You've earned it. I've a long way to go. But thank you. I, I needed this. There we go. Haha. <laughs> I love this.
Okay. So, we're traveling with the famed Blade of Frontiers. I feel safer already. Tell me about yourself. Oh, what's to tell? I'm a magistrate back in the city. It's all rather tedious. The Blade of Frontiers at your calling. How does the Blade of Frontiers end up chasing a devil in hells? Karlak's fires raged in Baldur's Gate before she escaped to Avernus, as my source told it. And she was planning to return. One of the arch devil Zariel's own. Chaos incarnate, a devil with pure fire for a heart. I made my way to Avernus to stop her. She fled from my reach, even climbed aboard the Mind Flayer ship as it screeched through the hells. I followed in close pursuit. I can't bear to imagine the lives Karlak might be taking, the damage she might be doing. Who is this source of yours? A powerful friend with a keen interest in privacy. I'm sworn to say no more. Okay, on to other matters. All right. Anything more we should discuss? Tell me, Will, how did you come to be the Blade of Frontiers? My father once said, one does not pursue a champion's life. One merely answers its call. So it was for me. I was hunting near the cloakwood when I heard it. A child crying out from a lone farmstead. I found him in the fields, flanked by goblins. His mother's corpse bled into the soil next to him. I don't remember much of the battle, but I remember drying the boy's tears after. What act could be finer than saving a life? You must have felt proud. Proud? No. Angry. Angry at the monsters preying on innocence. Angry at the so-called good gods for tolerating the cruelty of the evil. Angry at myself that it took so long for me to see the coast suffering. The frontiers demanded a blade. And so I heeded. And before that... Baldur's Gate, born and raised. The only son of a single father. He wanted one life for me. I chose another. We haven't spoken since I left the city. A classic drama. <laughs> a staunch father and his rebellious son. Better heard from the bard's lips than mine. I've noticed your stone eye. Did you lose it in battle? A most vicious one, in fact. It's made from pure bloodstone. Carved from the Galena Mountains just north of the Moon Sea. A reminder that sometimes blood must be shed and sacrifices must be made. Ah, but that story is reserved for lifetime friends and calmer days. I don't suppose you've come across an expert healer in your travels? <laughs> I've come to know a fair few village clerics, but none with the skill to pull these worms from our heads. From what I understand, there's a healer called Nettie in the grove. Perhaps she's got the talent. We should pay her a visit. I've got no memory of my past. Could the parasite have done that? Seems unusual to me. Then again, we're talking about tadpoles inserted into our brains by rubber-skinned tentacle monsters. There's nothing usual about it. All the more reason to stick close. I think you'll agree. I've got this bloodthirst, an urge to destroy, maim, kill. Anger, I understand. We've been preyed on by elithids, suffered insertion of a mind-bending worm. Bloodthirst is another matter. But perhaps not too big of one, if it's a devil or demon's flesh you're wanting to tear. Speak. <laughs> you look so unusual. Githyanki are rare in these parts. I expect I am your first. No, I've crossed paths with Githyanki before. And they didn't cut you from navel to neck. Well, perhaps they were otherwise occupied. I am still getting used to people like you. I know of your kind, but I do not often encounter them. That large, fleshy nose of yours looks like a mistake. Really? Thanks for noticing. It was an observation, not a compliment. No matter. I do not intend to stay long in this place. 
Do you know much about Mind Flayers? I understand much beyond your comprehension. More to the point, I know the cure for our condition. It is imperative we locate a crash. You do well to observe more and question less. Do you know what happens if we don't find a cure? Yes, in great detail. It starts with a fever and memory loss. Then you start to hallucinate. Your hair falls out and you bleed from every orifice. Your bones will change form. Your jaw will split to allow room for four great tentacles. All skin will turn to gore and be shed to reveal new flesh underneath. Then you have ceased to exist and a mind flayer is born. Damn. That sounds awful. How are you so calm? Because I do not intend to let this happen. Not to me, and if you stick with me, not to you. We must find my kind and be rid of the parasite. It's as simple as that. The first symptoms should have long since started, though. That is what puzzles me. You're worried we haven't changed? This is good news. Yes, if you give it no further thought. But anomalies lead to surprises. Bad surprises. Besides, what hasn't happened may yet come to pass. My past is a mystery to me. Could the parasite have caused that? Ceramorphosis takes all of you. Mind, body, soul. An ordinary tadpole would eat at your memories until they were lost to the void. But our tadpoles are far from ordinary. I wonder if another fact is in play. Hmm. I've had these urges. I want to kill. I want blood. Many a good warrior savors the scent of blood in the air. There's no shame in a capricious murder now and again. Too many, though. And you waste energy and dull your weapon. My suggestion. Attack with purpose and savor your kills. And if the urge proves too much, well... I'm sure we can find you a goblin or two to carve up. That's so sweet. The Blade of Frontiers. Let's hope Will lives up to his name. We'll need all the help we can get. What's the story with that odd little artifact you have? There's no story. None that you're entitled to hear, anyway. Forget you ever saw it. My memories are all gone. Is your tadpole playing tricks on yours? I understand why you ask, but memory loss is not as uncommon as you'd think. There may be other causes. What do you think of all that's happened to us so far? We've been through quite a lot, with likely more to come. Care to narrow it down a little? You must have thoughts about our little stowaways. Must I? Thinking about it won't help. We know what to do, so let's do it. Find a way to rid ourselves of these things. If we're truly desperate, we can try to convince that goblin gut in assisting us. I'm not too hopeful that a gith crash will actually prove our salvation, but worth keeping in mind. What will you do if we actually manage to remove the tadpoles? I suppose we'd go our separate ways. Not a slight on your company, of course. No reason for us not to stay together if we get on well. Perhaps. Perhaps not. If we do survive, we'll have separate lives to return to. I need to get to Baldur's Gate. There's someone waiting for me there. Someone I have to reach. As soon as possible. Hmm. Seems personal. I want to pry if it's not something you want to talk about. Thank you. And you're right. It's a delicate matter. Not something for light conversation. How am I holding up in your estimations? I must admit, you've been a surprise. And not an unpleasant one. Kindred spirits are few and far between for me. Besides, you saved my life aboard the Nautiloid. How can I do anything but sing your praises? We should get to know each other a little more. Must we? No harm in a little mystery, don't you think? If you're not comfortable, I won't press you. Thank you. I'm sure we'll get along perfectly well. Damn, everyone. 
everyone wants to chat. A tingle runs through your head and down to your feet. Ah, there it is. That shiver. Our little brainworms have made fast friends, it would seem. How do you feel? Nervous. I don't like the idea of that thing in my brain. It's natural to suffer a touch of worry, but an illithid worm should be causing more than mild anxiety. Before the illithid's unscheduled surgery, I'd felled hundreds of beasts and a fair few fiends. The tadpoles weakened me, suppressed greater talents, but beyond that, I've showed no signs of turning. No nausea, no pain, not even a hot flash. Something special about us, or at least about our tadpoles. Indeed. Perhaps the worm's vat was poisoned. Perhaps we're uncommonly fit. Or perhaps the tadpoles are merely on holiday. We could conjecture all night. I suppose the why doesn't matter so much as the what next. And that answer is plain as the horns on a war devil's head. We get these things out. Let's get some rest. Dawn comes sooner than we think. A fine evening, don't you think? The moonlight shines warmly on us. The breeze caresses our faces. Hideous. All of it. Would that I were doing battle up there, among the tears. What do you mean by the tears? Look above. Watch the moon cross the sky. The tears follow behind it. Rocky bodies tumbling through the sea of night. One of them is my crash. Kalea. Are all Githyanki from the tears? Your curiosity is to be commended. Githyanki are hatched in crashes all throughout realm space. Kalea is one of many. It's there I first saw a Kithrak mount a red dragon. Where I slit my cousin's throats at the Vaj's command. But enough of this. You are wasting your resting time. Come dawn, we resume our search for a crash. Agreed. You know, I've been thinking, reflecting on what tomorrow might bring when we meet this goblin priestess. Will she know how to bring the worm under control? Will this little adventure of ours be over it doesn't have to be we can still travel together good i don't want you to run off just yet you're quite the ally after all traversing avernus surviving the crash surviving everything that's followed i'm not easily impressed by people but you're stronger than I gave you credit for. I'm just trying to survive, like you. Yes, we're more similar than I thought. Are you feeling all right? Hmm? Oh, um, I was leagues away. I just need to get some air, clear my head. I'll see you later, I'm sure. Sleep tight. Okay. Damn. That is a fantastic outfit. The leader of the pack comes to chat. What's on your mind? You must be pleased to have a clear path forward. The sooner we find this priestess gut, the better. Can't wait to get rid of this thing in my head. You know, this could be our last night together. I hadn't thought of that. What do you have in mind? We could find somewhere discreet right now, away from the camp. Hmm. Rambles on bare skin aren't as fun in practice, I'm afraid. Besides, I can't afford to tire you out. We still have work to do. Rest well. Damn, she set me up for that. <laughs> 